Firefighters are just now finding out more about what's in the smoke they're often exposed to, along with fire victims, and it's worse than anyone thought. Al Sweeney is covering this story today. He joins us now live. So, Al, what's at issue here? Taz, we used to say where there's smoke, there's fire. Now it's more like where there's smoke, there's danger. The bottom line on this story, stay out of the smoke. Just about any smoke. The flames of a raging fire have enormous destructive potential, but the smoke is dangerous too, and firefighters are still learning just how dangerous. We started to get more and more data coming out, uh, the fact that hydrogen cyanide is in fire smoke, and it is in fact the leading deadly toxicant that we have in that smoke. This child's stuffed toy shows the danger. At one point in this small fire, the hydrogen cyanide detector read 16.1 parts per million. Anything over five parts per million requires full protective measures for these firefighters. Synthetics like stuffed toys and furniture are especially bad, but things like grass and straw are dangerous as well. And the worst readings come from a smoldering fire, not the big flames. Slow, cooler burning combustion, incomplete combustion, that's what produces most of the smoke. Firefighters are an unfortunate example of hydrogen cyanide danger. Things like you know, specific types of cancer, heart attacks, uh, issues with the thyroid gland. And when fire killed 100 people in a Rhode Island nightclub, Jones says victims died of cyanide poisoning. The Burlington Fire Department now has hydrogen cyanide detectors along with carbon monoxide detectors and takes other precautions. For residents who may face a fire, like a kitchen blaze... The average pot on a stove fire, just to share some numbers with you, contains roughly 70 parts per million of hydrogen cyanide and it is immediately dangerous to our life and health at 50 which means that at a 50 part per million exposure within 30 minutes you're unable to rescue yourself or potentially dead dead within half an hour the advice from professionals for a home fire can you put it out without breathing smoke if not don't breathe in that fire smoke get out and stay out call 911 and let us come and put the fire out so the Burlington Fire Department is the first in Canada to bring in written procedures for dealing with uh, smoke and the hydrogen cyanide danger. And Steve Jones has been spreading the word to other fire, fire departments, as well as police and emergency services, so they can protect themselves and the public. Taz? This is all very good information and new to most of us, but I've uh, got to ask you, summer's on the way, so what about sitting around a campfire toasting some marshmallows? Any concerns here? Well, Taz, Jones says, for one thing, you're outdoors, and also, if you know that you're burning good wood, just wood, you should be okay. Anything else, and you're taking the chance of being exposed to hydrogen cyanide and all the danger that comes with it. Taz. We appreciate the warning. Thanks so much.